Hey everybody, it's Becca J. Welcome back to my channel. Yay! I say it like it's just something super magical. My channel! Oh! Oh! I've got to change that. That annoys even me. Anyway, today we are trying the Flossy Sunflower Palettes. This is the Royal Peach Palettes. Yeah. I got this off of AliExpress. Mmm. I don't even remember how much. Probably not more than $8. Could have been 5 I don't remember. But I love it. I love her eyes. Look how pretty. And then check it out. Oh, look at this color. I am so excited for that. You know, and I've seen a lot of palettes lately, and this one just gets me really excited. That color just, oh. Yes. It does not smell like peaches. It just smells like eyeshadow. It's not good. It's not bad. I don't know. Okay, these do not have names, but I do want to do swatches. I know swatches don't have any relevancy to what happens on the eyelids, but I love to do swatches. I love to feel the powders. I love to feel the pan if it's squishy and bouncy or firm. I love to see the colors on my skin tone. I love all that, so I still do swatches. Okay, so let's get into that. So during the swatches, the palette remained basically clean. There's a hair. Basically clean. Not a lot of kickback. Not a lot of anything coming out. Um, the pans are pretty solid in there. You know, they're not soft and squishy. A lot from AliExpress, you come over and you can really dent that pan. It's not. It's real nice and firm. The texture of the powders is like velvety, but buttery they're not too powdery I don't know they have a really good feeling they swatched really well um, not a lot of chunks I'm excited when I looked at the palette I was like "Ooh, I know what I was gonna do now I'm not so sure just from looking at all these swatches I'm like oh my gosh I love that one this one we're definitely doing something with but now I don't know what I don't know. It's going to get crazy. And I thought I was just going for something dull. I don't know. I always tend to gravitate towards the same style and the same colors. And it makes me happy, but it gets a little boring sometimes for y'all. So this, is, I don't know. I don't know. I might stick with the same or I might just surprise myself. I don't know. Okay, so I went ahead and just pulled you a little closer. I don't have the zoom capability. If I do, I don't know about it or it might mess up resolution. I don't know. So I just pulled you just a little closer. Um, let's see, let's use this color here for the transition shade. And it does not have a mirror, so I was all ready to look and there's nothing there. I'm a vampire, I'm not there. Oh, that picked up a lot. So we're gonna tap it off. Mm. Man. Very nice so far. Real nice and light. Doesn't do terribly contrast with my caterpillars up there. Just gonna darken it up just a little. Cause I'm in that kind of mood today. I want neutral yet bright and happy and crazy yet tame. I don't know what I want. All right, I feel that's pretty even looking. Um, maybe this side might be a little darker, but if you get that close enough to me to notice the difference and you have the balls to say something, well then, kudos. All right, I'm jumping in right away with this bright peachy orange. Uh, I, I just, I have to. I don't know what to do with it. I'm going to put it in the crease 
and we're just gonna see what happens. Look at that! It's so happy! I have a smudge on my mirror, right where my eye goes. Let's turn it around. Okay, it blends well. I feel like it's not bright and intense like how it shows here. So it is different than the swatch but I'm sure you could build it up, which I'm gonna try to do. Okay, so there you go. I do have hooded eyelids, so some of that color disappears. That's okay, I don't feel like bringing it all the way up to uh, the sky today. I just don't know what to do for next for the lid color. Like, do I do light or do I go dark? I don't know. I'm like, either way I go, it's gonna change the tone of the whole thing, you know? If I put this purple in, it's gonna change it. If I just go right in with, you know, these iridescent ones, it's gonna change it. I just don't know what to do. I could do one of each, huh? Mm. But then I'd have to redo my makeup and my eyeshadow because I'd like to get on with my day, so I'm, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do light and dark. Uh, where's my brush? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark purple here, which was this color, and just put it on the outer lid, maybe? Okay, I didn't want it too dark, but I still wanted it obviously purple. I don't know. I just patted it on and built it up. And I mean, you can see my color swatch is much more vibrant than what's on my lid. But it turns out that's how I kind of wanted it. So I like that. I think if I had wanted the real dark and real pigmented, I would have been disappointed. Okay, now I'm going to take this color and put it on to the inner corner and center of the eye. Okay, now I'm going to take that purple and help blend out that edge a little bit. And then just bring it down a little underneath. I actually really like it. It's different than what I had imagined. I was really hoping to use some of this copper green too. Didn't do that. Stuck with the colors that I really enjoy and use a lot. So, I mean, it's kind of boring, but I really like it. I really do. So I brought some of the purple down and that pink is down a little bit. I'm trying to find my eyeliner. Okay, well, I can't find it, so we're gonna skip that. And if I can find my mascara, that's what we'll put on too. Ah, found it, found it. Okay, so that's the finished look. I'm going simple today, not doing too much on my face either. Just put on some foundation and some powder. I had a little bit of fallout, so I just cleaned that up with a wipe and created an edge over here. Is that a freckle? Do you guys remember seeing a spot there before? I'm getting old. Um, so I like what happened you know it's um the colors that i still enjoy but it's not um same old same old it's not too boring there's some intrigue and mystery there i i really like this um the colors in this palette and my swatches they're not too far off from what actually happened on the eyelid you know the purple and the orange i did have to build up but uh, it was the look I was kind of going for. You know, like I said, I didn't want that purple super dark, so it turned out. Um, the palette is still pretty clean. I like that. I uh, for, kept forgetting there was no mirror, but I love this palette. I will be reaching for it again. Um, like I said, it just has that little bit in there that's different, and it makes it different and special from all the rest. I love how these are off-center. 
they're not just blocked up in there and it's the same as everything else like i said this is just enough to be a little different that it's not boring and it's not same old same old i love it oh we have to do a lip i'm gonna try this color here yeah i think it's <laughs> A little too orangey we're putting on some of this pink right here no no I should have gone with a matte color but there's not too many to choose from we're just gonna make it get worse I'm adding some of this purple now It improved it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it was going good until I tried to do the lips. I don't know. It's better than what I was originally doing. Anyway, it's not about that. Please don't leave me a thumbs down for my lip. Okay, so if you have it, you want it, you love it, you hate it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you feel and how your experiences with this palette are. Like I said, I'm really enjoying it today. It was kind of, kind of what I was going for. I think if I wanted something darker, I would have been disappointed. I don't know. There's a lot of colors we did not try. Oh, maybe next time. I kind of feel weird doing like two palette reviews just to try different colors. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, well, let me know how you feel about your palette if you have one. I'll try to find a link to AliExpress. You can find them all over on AliExpress, but I'll see if I can find the link that I used. If we're that price, I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't very much, otherwise I would not have gotten it. Other than that, just go have a beautiful day. Bye. Good job, Mom. Don't forget, click, click, like, subscribe.